I get dropped for the right back here yeah. I'm gonna fight this shit I'm gonna take this risk Can't let my pride get this Dropped for the right back here yeah. Cause there's no question I've been the worst I can handle what, what it is, what it does, what it was, what it isn't. Dave the Rip 1, back to give you the business. Oh, that's a mean MC right there, man. That's a mean one, Mr. Ripped. Uh, but what is up, ladies and gentlemen? Dave the Rip 1 coming back at you with another Fight Night Champion video. Notice that I said Fight Night Champion video. I did not say back at you with another head-to-head -head match. I didn't say back at you with the motherfucking bean. Uh, none of said above statements. That's because we coming at you with some OWC. And the reason for that was my good buddy, Slong Cut. And as the name implies, you know, he, he lost his dear Slong in a tragic masturbation accident. Um, you know, I'm thinking about, you know, maybe getting another ALS type ice bucket challenge, you know, get some money raised, get some donations, uh, maybe get that man a new slong, I mean, cause what is, what is a man without a slong, you know what I'm saying, um, it's just tragic and, and it warms my heart and it just, it hurts my balls just thinking about it, you know, I mean, what is, what is a pair of balls without, without a slong, um, but, but yeah, a uh, couple videos back or maybe the last video, I don't remember exactly which video it was, um, he sent me a message on the video, or left a comment on the video, uh, saying that I needed to come get the, my ass beat by one slong cut, um, because I was getting soft, uh, fighting all these, these bums and beating all these bums with the butterbean. Now, anybody who has tried to make a go of it with butterbean knows that uh, regardless of how skillful or not skillful your opponent is, simply having that much of a dis uh, overall disadvantage, that's a fucking challenge, man. And that's why I do it, you know, because, you know, with the exception of the elite spammers and, you know, guys I know from YouTube that actually have some simulation boxing skill, um, the majority of the people on this game are either spammers or they're bums, man. And it's just so fucking boring to me to just run through these guys with fucking Rocky Marciano or Oscar De La Hoya or any of the 90 overall guys, you know what I mean? Any of the guys that people usually pick on this game. Um, you know, it's just too fucking easy and it's too boring. And, you know, a lot of people give me shit about my record, so I actually went ahead and started uh, a head-to-head -head account, a serious head-to-head -head account, where, you know where I use those guys. I'm like 16 and 0 and I just, I haven't played it in weeks because it's just so fucking boring, man. Um, you know, I'm not trying to toot my own horn or anything, but it was just the competition on this game just isn't there anymore, man. There's not any good simulation boxers outside of YouTube. Um, so, you know, I was excited to, you know, have a challenge from him and uh, I'm looking forward to getting that match and however, I haven't seen him online since, so I mean, he, can, he comes and challenges me and then he just bounces, man. I don't know, I don't know, I mean, I hope everything's okay, I mean, I know you got, you ain't got no slong, but your balls are still right, right? I mean, your testicles, I mean, your little, your little buddies downstairs are still good, right? I, I don't know, man, hit me up, <laughs> let me know what's going on. Um, but no, man, slong cut's a good dude, man. And, uh, you know, it's all fun and games, I don't want anybody thinking there's some legitimate beef going on there. Uh, we always talk shit back and forth. Um, and I'm always calling him an inbred fucking honky. Um, so, I mean, it, it ain't nothing, you know what I mean? It's all good fun, he knows I'm just fucking around. Uh, but that would be a great fight, man. Um, it's always a tough fight. He's great at stamina management, he's got a great inside game. And the last time we fought, I just came back from YouTube to YouTube and uh, he ended up you know beating your boy's ass so hopefully that is not the case um, you know so I decided let's do some OWC man let's get away from the butter bean for a while I know a lot of you guys like that and it's not going anywhere it's gonna be coming back but I went ahead and I started a uh, lightweight OWC simply because it's not really been a weight that I've ever really messed with I don't have any experience in it so uh this is a 79 overall going up against a 81 overall, I believe. And we are, in this fight, we are 13 and 5. And this guy is 8 and 0. How this guy is fucking 8 and 0, I don't fucking know, man. Maybe he was just going against 78 overalls with no points whatsoever. Um, pretty much like we are, man. We're barely a 79. But um, the dude pretty much has one thing, and that's straights, man. That's it. You know, jab straights, jab straights. 
And uh, he stuns me a lot, which he could have fucked us earlier, man, if he knew how to capitalize on any of those stuns. Um, you'll notice when he stuns me, all he does is one twos coming forward, man. It's so easy to just get out of the way of that. So, um, I don't know. It's been a rough go of it coming into the lightweight OWC at a 78 overall. Um, those five losses have been... Three of them were one-punch KOs. All five of them were so-called elite spammers. I'm talking guys with, like, one of them was a title shot. And this dude had a 1,000 wins and it was, like, 45 losses or some shit like that. Like, dude was a serious fucking spammer, bro. And he was at 83 overall. And knowing me, dude, you know, I, I like the challenge, man. I got an underdog complex that fucks me a lot of times. I don't know. It, I just do. Uh, I do. You know what I mean? Um... You know, I see a match like that, and I think, how fucking dope would that be to fucking pull off the upset of the year and post that on YouTube, you know what I mean? Um, unfortunately, it didn't happen. Uh, I was going to post the match, but I don't even know if I still have the footage on, around here somewhere. I might. I'll look for it. Uh, but, the, I mean, it was just a hopeless match. Dude came forward with push straights the entire time, and I was a 78 overall at the time. He was at 83. Um, so, I mean, it was... No, he was at 86. Uh, the other guys that I fought, the other elite spammers, like, my five losses have been the toughest losses you could possibly ask for. Like, none of it was even, none of it was nothing. Like, these guys were straight, fucking 83 over, 84 overalls, maxed out. I'm coming at him with a 78 overall, and they're spamming fucking hardcore, man. Um, you see the Philly shell on me, though. Most people don't like that, but it's lightweight, man. You, you gotta do what you gotta do, bro. Um... With the exception of the heavyweight, I think lightweight has definitely the most spammers, the most runners, the most step uppercut spamming little douchebag fucks uh, that you can ask for. And over and over and over with those guys, those five guys that beat me, um, every once in a while, man, I just can't help it, you know what I mean? I call him a bitch, I call him a pathetic fucking little troll. How pathetic must your life be to spend your life? To spend your life, man! on a fucking video game picking on little 78 overalls and thinking that you're actually doing something and the reply to me was that I'm simply I'm jelly what the fuck is that I'm jelly I imagine it means jealous that's some new kid fucking 13 year old troll lango or some shit um, but they, they all said that they're just, I'm just mad because they're elite they are elite and I'm a peon, I'm a bum, I'm a fucking nobody. And uh I'm a motherfucking real one, bitch. You must not you must not heard. Um you got to win simply because you are a bitch. You know what I mean? Like But it led me to the topic of what is elite? Like what what are the credentials for being elite? And like what do you guys consider to be elite? Because if you look at a record like mine, it's not necessarily elite. But if you look at these guys with fucking perfect records, the way they got them, there's nothing elite about the way they got them. You know what I mean? They got it by being the scum of the fucking earth. They got it by being trash bag fucking troll motherfuckers, man. So, it, I mean, is that really what elite is? Because if it is, I'm not doing shit all wrong, man. Like the heart of the champion shit, the fucking wanting the best fights out there, wanting to, you know, fucking you know change the game and make it better and help people get better and help people play properly i mean if that's not what being elite is and i mean i got it all fucking wrong man i bet i'm gonna get my spam on you know what i mean i better get my 86 overall and then only fight 78s and get my record up get my stats up y'all gotta get my stats up yo because then i could be a big dog be a big timer you know what i'm saying i'm elite now end up the fucking elite about the way these guys do this game man to me, someone who is elite is a guy like Fight Night's Finest, man. A guy who has mastered the game mechanics, who is skillful, and a guy who can take out both spammer and simulation boxer alike. Um, and do it in a way that looks like boxing, man. Do it with a guy who can simulate the game perfectly, who knows boxing inside and out, and can explain it to you exactly what he's doing, and then come out and execute. You know what I mean? Those are the guys that I consider to be elite. AC Carnage, another legend in the game, man. You know what I mean? A guy who can do it all. A guy who can come in and inside fight, can outside fight, can pound and punch, can do everything in the game and do it well and not have to 
cheap, man. To me, basically, to me, when I look at a guy that spams, when I look at a guy that's coming at you with an 86 overall, fighting nothing but 78 overalls, and has these amazing records, to me, they are nothing more than someone who uses steroids in a real-life sport. They're Lance Armstrong. They're Barry Bonds. They're fucking any of these guys. They're fucking un unofficially Manny Pacquiao, because I know some of y'all gonna hate me for this one, but I'm... Dude, you can't explain them what the way the dude did it without... Having those fucking PEDs in there, man. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Look at him now. You know what I mean? He goes from knocking everybody out to how he ain't had a knockout in fucking how long. I don't know. I don't know if he's on it or not. But to me, um, that's what a spammer is, man. You know what I mean? Because they're using an unfair advantage to anyone who wants to play the game properly. They're at a severe disadvantage. And they're putting themselves above the competition unfairly. You know what I mean? Um, and sure, you know, people say you could spam, you can do everything that they're doing, it's, it's available in the game. But it's so bitch made, it's basically cheating, man. I don't give a fuck what anybody says, the game lets you do it. The game lets you do it, it's what the game allows you to do. The game allows you to be a pussy ass little bitch. And those who do it are fucking bitches. They're spammers, they're fucking steroids, they're shooting that shit up. So, uh... I don't know, man. Leave in the comment section below what your opinion of someone who is elite is. Uh, because, do I consider myself to be elite? No, not at all, man. Uh, do I consider myself to be above average? Yeah, I'll give myself that. Um, but more importantly, I consider myself to be a person who loves the game, man. A person who loves boxing, who loves a boxing simulation. Um, a person who wants to fight the best people out there. I want the best fights possible. I want the best simulation fights possible because there's one guy out there. You won't fight me. You won't fight me. Oh, you won't stop, step up, cut. So, it is what it is, bro. Um, but, you know, I'm not getting into all that. You know what I'm saying? But, like, to me, those are the guys that are elite or are on their way to being elite. You know what I mean? A guy like Loco P420 who... You know, through hard work and dedication and practice and watching other people and, you know, doing everything the right way has become a beast. You know what I mean? Loco has always been a good player, but he has gotten to that point where he is. Hold on a second. We'll get into that. We, we might get him down here. I can't even remember. Yeah, get that shit, biatch. Look at that beautiful. Fuck it. We hit him with the straight to start it off right through the guard into that chin. Mmm. Taste it. When we finished it off with, what, three, four hooks on the way down? Uh, we looked like AC Gaming just with those hooks, man. Bam, 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 bam. Um, before now, I was never able to hit hooks like that. But AC Gaming, man, it must be the, just the style I, I, he has or whatever. But he's always been a mad fucking hooker. Um, and we get him again. Yeah, get that a second time. You can keep that. And he's starting to see that that undefeated record is slowly drifting away, man. Slowly drifting away. I don't know if he has the straight maxed out. So maybe he's hoping for, you know, the one punch KO to come in and save him. Um, but it's not looking good for your boy right now. Um, but, you know, back to the point. You know, it's just... I don't know. To me, that is not elite, man. There's nothing elite about a guy who, you know, has such an unfair advantage against people. And for them to even say elite, it just shows that they're fucking delusional, man. That they're delusional and they clearly have nothing else going for them in the life because they need that win so goddamn bad, man. They need it so fucking bad. And as we stun him again and we get him down again here, we say, get that. You can keep that. That's all for you, homie. That's all for you, bro. I mean, we're generous as fuck. We're just giving it to him all day, man. I mean, I don't know what more he could ask for. Um, but yeah, man, it just shows how pathetic they are, man. Someone who needs to do that so badly to get the win like it, it, i almost feel bad for them and i almost just like give them the match a lot of times because clearly they need it more than me man you know what i mean if they were to lose if someone like that was to lose with a thousand record and they would have lose to a 78 there's no telling what they might do to themselves so me as a public servant just this is a per public service you know what i mean i just i give it to them um even if even if i could take the match which i probably couldn't because the, the deck is so fucking stacked in their favor um you know, I don't know, I just, I can't see myself doing that, I can't see myself being that pathetic and needing it that bad, you know what I mean, like, 
I don't know, maybe it's because my real life is, is satisfying, you know what I mean? Maybe it's because I have a wife, maybe it's because I have two amazing kids and a, and a decent job and friends and all that. Maybe they don't have any of that. Maybe that's why they do that. I don't know. I, I don't know, man. Um, but leave in your comment section below if you guys think these guys are truly elite, what your definition of elite is. And, uh, you know, I'm just curious. I want to see. And, uh, you know, let me know if you guys want to get a fight in. Because I definitely, I need to get some better competition because my give a fuck in this game is slowly drifting away, man. Um, you know, I'm bored out of my fucking skull with this game. And I don't, I don't want to retire. But, I mean, that's what I see myself doing if I can't get some kind of excitement out of this fucking game again, man. Like, I don't... I don't know if I have it in me to start another league or something like that and have it fall apart because of a couple douchebags here and there like it has the past two times. Um, but I would like to. I would like to think that we could get together and at least, you know, put on some pay-per-views, at least get some good fights in here and there. Maybe get a rack and soul and fight in his finest and do some commentary. Um, oh, fuck, man. Speaking of a rack and soul, I meant to do this at the beginning of the video, man. I apologize. Uh, I want to give a rack and soul a sincere... Um, congratulations on hitting 200 subscribers man that, that's amazing for how long you've been doing YouTube man um, you know that just shows how out of this world as commentary is how energetic how positive how creative you know what I mean the dude is just simply a beast on the commentary he blows most people out of the water um, it took me over a year to get 100 subscribers man um, you know, and I'm just now, uh, two years, almost, almost two years into it, I'm just now getting ready to where I'm pushing 300 subscribers. So, you know, I mean, it just shows that he's got that talent, man. Guys, guys like him and guys like Fight Night Spinus and guys like Sakuraba, you know, they just blow up after a while. And it, it could not be more deserved, man. There's not another person out here, I think, who works as hard as Arachnid Soul and Fight Night Spinus and Sakuraba. So, you know, shout out to all those guys. And, um... You know, it's must deserve, man. Um, I appreciate the entertainment that you put out there for me and for everybody else. You know, I mean, the Seven Days to Die series, I fucking love it, man. I can't wait to watch those videos. Um, the Throwdown Wrestling is good, but uh, the live streams with him and Fight Night's Finest, man. You know, last night he didn't do it. I'm serious. I'm mad at you guys, man. What the fuck? You know what I mean? I was depending on. There's nothing on TV on Tuesday, so I expect that live stream to come on and y'all just fucking let me down, man. I don't understand why y'all don't like me, man. Is something personal? I do something? I they say something fucking wrong, man? What the fuck? Um, but yeah, congratulations, man, and keep up the good work. I love your videos. I love your channel. I love everything you guys do together. You and Finance Finance, man, that is a match fucking made in YouTube commentating heaven. Um, the way they just play off each other, man. That, that's some that's some decent shit right there. So we're coming into round eight, and basically it's been the same, man. He's backing up. He's trying to, you know, he's hitting those straights every once in a while because we know we have him for the most part. Outside of a one punch KO, this match is ours, and we are trying to finish it off with a KO. So we keep coming, we keep coming, we keep pressuring him, and um, you know, eventually we're just we're gonna take it, man. We we got to, we need it. We need that KO, especially after uh, the, the five losses that we've taken. Um, we're finally getting our overalls. You know, we're putting the points where they need to go, even though we're only a 79. We've got that chin up. We've got some in combinations. Um, we've got that straight to the second star. I don't I think it's 10 or whatever to where it'll critical stun you. It won't knock you down uh, on its own. It won't get the one punch KO like most of these guys who are 79. They simply go for that straight and spam it. They have no other chance to win but that. Nah, man, we ain't doing that. You know what I mean? We put a few points in our jab. We put a few points in our combinations. We got our chin up. Uh, we got a couple in head movement. So, you know, we, we got... We're putting them in the basics to where we need to be to go ahead and start being... Um, you know, a legit threat to these guys, and to where we're um, all around. You know what I mean? Where we have points all around the world. We're all around good boxing. We're not depending on one thing to get us through the match. You know what I'm saying? So uh, it is what it is, man. And we get him down there again, and I'm not sure, but I think this might be the end of it. I hope, because I am on my lunch break, and I have got to get back to work, so I can't sit here and commentate on this long-ass video uh, all day. So please let this be it. Don't let this bum get up. Don't get up, bum. That, that O is mine, man. That O has got to go. The day to rip one is the O taker. 
Hot breaker. Get up. No, don't get up. Don't get up. He's getting up. Damn it. Yep, he got up. We're going to have to knock him down one more time. But uh, as you can see, the video is coming to a wrap here. So it's only a matter of time. I think we might take him out in this round. Maybe. No, no, I don't think so. Um, but anyways, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I understand it is a long video. I haven't done a long video or commentated over a long video in a while. And that's been something that I've been struggling with, man. Just getting back into the flow of doing YouTube. That's why you see sporadic videos. Um, but, you know, in anything, you know, anytime you get any kind of creative block or anything, you just have to push through it, man. And uh, that's what I'm trying to do here. So hopefully, you know, I got through this 20 minute commentary. Um, I had fun with it. I hope you guys had fun with it. And, you know, maybe I can get back into that to where I can bring you guys consistent videos and start to grow my channel again, which is really my goal. And, uh, you know, we're coming down to the wire. He's got to go. We only got, what, 20 seconds left? Oh, yeah, get it, bitch. Data Rip 1, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'm out. Peace.